You may have heard of WMG workshops run by Dean Wesley Smith and Christine Catherine Rush and wondered if they were worth it. In this video, I'm going to give you my review of my experience at the WMG workshops and also talk about my top 10 recommendations of where you should start if you've never taken a workshop before with them. What's up, guys? Michael Laron here with Author Level Up, helping you write world-class stories better and faster. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So what are WMG workshops? Well, these are craft workshops run by Dean Wesley Smith and Christine Catherine Rush, two very prolific and successful New York Times and USA Today bestsellers. The workshops cover every aspect of the writing spectrum, from coming up with your ideas all the way down to advanced techniques that are difficult to understand and do well, but if you can do them, you will keep readers spellbound. Examples of their workshops include depth in writing, cliffhangers, author voice, character voice, and all sorts of, of topics that will be intriguing to you as a writer. The WMG workshops are revered for their ability to take complicated craft concepts and break them down into simple steps that anyone can follow. And that has been true for me in my career. I've been taking these workshops since 2015, and I've taken almost all of the traditional workshops. And I can tell you that the techniques that I've learned in these workshops, I use them in every writing session that I have. And I credit many of them with helping me become the writer that I am today. WMG offers in-person and online workshops, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to focus on the online workshops, as that's where I think most people should start, and I think that's where you're going to get the, the most mileage in the beginning. These courses are taught on teachable.com, and they run six weeks, and in each week, you get about five to six videos of lecture from Dean explaining a particular aspect of the concept of the workshop. Then at the end of those six videos, you get an assignment. And the assignment is designed to help you practice the technique that you just learned about. One of the great aspects about these courses is that Dean will review your assignment and he will give you feedback on whether you nailed it, whether there were some things that you could have worked on and done better, or whether you completely missed it. <laughs> Dean gives you very direct feedback. And I personally find that extremely valuable because I want to learn how to how to be better. I want to learn how to think about things differently. And I value the opinions and expertise of, of someone different. And I think that a lot of people would, would benefit from his direct feedback as well. Now, the feedback's not always the greatest thing to hear, but it's in the service of helping you become a better writer. And that is the point. You're not required to do the assignments, but you should do the assignments. They also offer classic workshops, which is basically the same workshop, but the, the interactive feedback component isn't there. So you can just review all the lectures. You can do the assignments at your own pace. And the only difference is that Dean won't review them. And the great thing about these is that you can pick these up for a little bit cheaper. So here are my top 10 WMG course recommendations. This is in order of what I think you should take the courses, not necessarily my favorite courses. I'll call those out. But I really do think that even though we're talking about 10 courses today, I think there's value in all of them. And I can say that authoritatively because I've taken almost all of them. Number one is depth. If you've never taken a WMG workshop, you have to take this one. There's just no... No way around it. This is the foundation course. It's the course that everybody has to take because Dean constantly references back to this course throughout almost all the workshops. And the focus on this course is to help you write stories that are deeper and pull readers down into depth. And there's lots of great exercises in it and really helps you get into the the, get into the character's head using the five senses, teaches you how to open your stories, teaches you how to open your chapters, and the lessons in this one are just invaluable. Number two is advanced depth, and I recommend that you take this after you take depth and have had a chance to practice depth in your novels and short stories, and it builds on the concepts that were referenced in depth with a focus on being able to do what Dean calls exercising mind control with the readers. I'll leave it at that. Number three is genre structure. Now, maybe some people don't need this course, but I still think it's a very helpful refresher. I've been reading fantasy novels my entire life, and yet when I write fantasy, I was doing some things that were running contrary to reader expectations. And so this is just a good course to help you kind of reset your course, eliminate some bad habits, and make sure you're operating within the parameters of what readers expect in any given genre that you write. 
Number four is character development. Now, when people think of character development, they frequently think of these big character arcs or characters going from point A to point B and being a completely different person. And what I have learned is that that's really not what that's about at all. In fact, this workshop alone was a huge paradigm shift for me. It taught me how to think about characters in a completely different way. And the really good thing about this workshop is that it teaches you what to do on the page to create relatable, engaging characters that your readers won't forget. This one is a must. Number five is Teams. Now, this is an underrated workshop. I wasn't sure about this one when I signed up for it, but it ended up being just amazing. And it talks about how teams and parties of characters are what drives fiction today. So, for example, in the very beginning of my career, I used to write stories with one main character or a character with a sidekick. But if you look at pop culture and you look at Marvel and you look at your favorite TV show, there's a team of characters, right? There's a main character and there's there's supporting characters around them. And Dean talks about how to use this particular technique and how to get the most out of building a team, making the team relatable, how to put people on stage, who gets the most time, how to how to switch between them, and just some other things that were really eye-opening for me. Number six is Tags, which I think is a WMG classic and one of my favorite workshops. And man, this one, I don't even know where to start. All right. So this is one of those things. Talk about tags. Tags are aspects of a character or things that a character does. And the author repeats that over and over to make the character more memorable and to help the character stand out and help the reader differentiate between them. And this is something that is all around us. Every author uses tags and man, they're just everywhere. They're, they're, they're so ubiquitous that they're, they're invisible. And the focus of this course is helping you learn how to see tags so that you can learn how to use tags. And once you learn how to see them, you will never be able to unsee them. And that is the value of this course. Just Absolutely fantastic course. And honestly, I don't know that I completely grasped all of the techniques in this workshop the first time around. I feel like I had to take it a few times, and it still took me a while before everything and it clicked. But when it did click, man, it helped my fiction so much. Number seven is pacing. One of the more difficult concepts to master as a writer, and I think this is one of the more difficult WMG workshops, but I think that most people should take it because it will open your eyes and help you see things that you didn't even know were possible and just give you some awareness. It's like, for example, there's there's some things he mentions in the course that just like make you stop and go, wait, what? what? You can do that? Like he mentions character pacing and setting pacing. Like when people think about pacing, they think about the the overall plot, but pacing is a micro thing too. And they talk about how to how how to how to implement pacing on the page. It has been fundamental in helping me write page turning books. Number eight is cliffhangers. How do you end your chapters in such a way that readers won't stop turning the page? That's what this workshop is all about, and it's a great one. Number nine is another WMG classic and one that I wasn't sure about when I signed up for it, but man, it was unbelievable. And that was power words. All right. So what are power words? Well, power words are words that you use as a writer to impart emotion on the reader and pull them into the story and and basically just exercise that mind control that I talked about before. And there's a time to use power words and there's a time to back off of them. And learning how to know what words to use and 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 how to pick them to keep the readers reading, oh man, just just super helpful. And there's a great exercise in this workshop that I think is worth the the cost of it alone where Dean goes through the works of some mega bestsellers and explains how they're using power words. And then once you see it, it's one of those things that you just can't unsee. So when you're listening to an audiobook or you're reading a book by an author that you like, you can start to hear those power words and you can start to pick up on when you should use them, when you shouldn't use them. Again, this is a highly underrated course and one of my favorites. And last but not least at number 10 is actually not a craft workshop. It is a business workshop run by WMG called Opportunities. The Opportunities Workshop is about teaching you how to spot opportunities in your career as a writer. The Opportunities Workshop talks about how there are opportunities all around us every day as writers, and we don't always see them. 
Sometimes we have to learn how to sharpen our eyes and be able to see what opportunities are out there and how to take advantage of them. And sometimes there are opportunities that aren't really opportunities. They can be disasters in disguise. And sometimes there are opportunities out there that are complete slam dunks. And hearing Dean talk about how he thinks about approaching opportunities and how he has capitalized opportunities in his own life, I thought was really helpful to me. And this this workshop was really like a mini mentorship course. Now, you've probably watched this video and thought, Michael, these workshops sound fantastic, but they're they're kind of expensive. Well, you are going to have to invest in these workshops. And I, what I can at least tell you is that they have paid off for me. They have been absolutely worth it for me. And if you want a sense of how the workshops work, there are some free workshops on YouTube. So I'll link to one of the courses that Dean offers for free on YouTube so you can get a sense of what the workshops are like and whether they're for you. Now, there's also the lifetime feature. Now, you can purchase a lifetime subscription and you basically purchase all of the workshops at a very, very steep discount. And then you get access to all of the workshops, plus you get access to all new workshops in the future that get released. And I think that the lifetime, while it is a chunk of change up front, is actually the best way to go with WMG workshops because you get access to everything as opposed to paying things a la carte. But certainly, watch the YouTube course, try out the depth course, and in taking the depth course, you'll know immediately if the lifetime subscription is for you. If you want to sign up for WMG workshops, you can get there by going to authorlevelup.com slash WMG. That is an affiliate link, and I do receive a small commission for any workshops that you sign up for. But as you guys know, on this channel, I only recommend services that I have personally used and recommend for you guys, and I highly recommend WMG. And I want to also hear from you. Which WMG courses have you taken? What have you gotten from them? Maybe there's some courses that you think are beneficial that I didn't mention. Please mention them in the chats, and we can all use this opportunity to learn from each other. With that, guys, I'm out, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.